Hello everyone and welcome to an unboxing of Marvel Crisis Protocol Earth's Mightiest, the new core set for the game originally released in 2019. Been playing it on the channel for over 100 battle reports, 117-ish. And this new core set does not invalidate the old one, just in case you're curious, the old one is still playable. Although this comes with a lot of the same characters that are in that original one, these are different iterations, they have different stack cards. That other core box, 100% legal play and it's available for really good prices. I had a little look and you can find it very cheap. This though, Earth Mightiest core set is actually kind of hard to find for a decent price. I got it for 106 uh, in British pounds. You can find it all the way up to like 150, which is, I mean, it is a very, it's a very big box with a lot of stuff in it, but it is still quite a high asking price to buy in. So if you're unsure about Crisis Protocol, you might be better off going for the other starter set first. That said though, if we take a look at the back of the box here, there is the assortment of miniatures painted officially. You get, well, technically six because there's grunts, but it's five on five. And then a grunt team, age 14 plus for two players for a 90 to 120 minute game. And it also recommends a certain type of card sleeve, but that won't really be necessary. So we're gonna crack this open today and take a look at it. If you wanna see the blurb, there's some of it in the top left there, but you should know what you're expecting at this point. The, the core rules are exactly the same. This is just them kind of refreshing the game for 2023 into 2024. All right, let's get this massive lid off. It is a chunk, look at that. It's going past like a film credit. Get this out of the way. We'll just put it to the side there and we'll see what we have. So we start with a new printed edition of the core rules. Some things have been reorganized. It's included some of the stuff that was originally errated or came as an extra sheet of paper as and when the rules were added to the game, such as Infinity Stones, uh, what else, Transformations, that kind of stuff. It's all been incorporated and from what I hear, it is better laid out and better understand understood. It also uses all the new token types that come in this, I guess. Uh, they went from circles to squares or diamonds, I guess, depending on your preference. Again, all the old icons can still be used, though. So this has been available for a PDF, as a PDF for a little while now. I haven't read through it yet. That's some fun art of Thor the Frog, or Frog Thor. But that's your basic rules. Again, as far as things go, the same as as they were. So speaking of as they were, the movement tools and range rulers are all the same. I think they even have the same patterns on them. Yeah, I'm pretty sure these are identical. I'm not 100% sure I remember like the Hulk jumping on medium if that is the Hulk, maybe Venom, either way. But as far as the actual ranges being used, if you have like third party ones because you wanted fancy looking ones, they're all still perfectly usable. They're exactly the same as they were. So, is that all the sprue? That can't be. Is this 10 characters across two bits of... Let's have a look. It's quite impressive if so, it's a good use of space. Well, no, it can't be because there's scenery as well, so the scenery is definitely going to be uh, hidden within somewhere. But, if we just get that out of there. Yeah, that looks like maybe one, one bit of sprue for the good guys, one bit of sprue for the bad guys. Captain America, Winter Soldier, Black Widow, uh, let's see. Captain Marvel, and maybe Spider-Man, but I think that's Crossbones over there, is it? I'm not sure. That could be more than one. Oh, well, there's Ultron's head, so no, it is, it's split across both bits. But that is mostly the good guys. And then, whoop, then we have yeah, some more bits of Ultron there. Doc Ock up here. There's Crossbones gone. It's massive. And the bodies for the Grunt, and that's, uh, that's the base for the Grunts, actually. Ultron's drones. Yeah, so not noticing any problems with the sprue, which is to be expected. Only ever had like one issue with a Thumb Mask game sprue ever, I think, and it was a minor thing. So not a bad thing at all. Oh yeah, Baron Zemo as well, that's who is uh, up here next to the wide chest of Otto Octavius. So that is the sprue. There is more to come though, because as I say, you get a bunch of scenery. It's not the same set of scenery that you get in the other core box, but there is some interconnectivity between both. And then beyond that, lift this up. Put it to one side, hopefully without it falling. We have all the gibbons. So I believe these, in there with the normal dice, and the dice are the same again, are for the new turn and score tracker that is presumably here somewhere. Oh, I see it. There it is, it's nice and in, it's got indents in it now as well, which should be visible. Yeah. So presumably the big yellow one is turn timer, 
and then you've got your two score markers somebody's blue somebody's red and then that keeps track of it again that's big enough that it will fit the old icons if you wanted to use those as well pretty thick card though right there and we have a baggie of oh, we have spare baggies actually i always like when they include spare baggies although those are clearly not profile card sized so that's for add oh no those would be though perfect great very nice so this is a baggie of all the tactics cards and all the stat cards as i say although there is a lot of characters from the other core box these are classed as different characters so their stats are different but they're not replacements so we're not going to look in detail at every single card but i am going to admire some good art glory of ultron there's a new art for patch up joint effort vertical assistance this is our day stark armory soldat activated i'm just going to stack captain america Impulsor Refraction, Reserve Members, it's quite a fun picture of that. Recalibration Matrix, a new art for that one. Overcharge, I am a Baron after all, I get it. Go get him Tiger, Heavy Firepower, Dig In, Dark Rain, new art for that. Cosmic Obliteration, Brace for Impact with, uh, what's her name again, I keep forgetting her name, Spectre. Battle Plan, and Avengers Assemble. Technically, like, this is the third art this card has, card has had, because there was a limited edition version that I have. Little card for Ultron's drones, and then this is the new size for Crisis cards, as I've just discovered earlier today, where it includes the map on the card, which is quite nice, and the symbol that it uses, because you can just use these alternative symbols if you wish. Or if you have the old ones, again, you can still use those too, but this means you don't have to worry about them being tied to a certain release, which is nice. So you get the, so the exact same core box missions with the updated version of them though as well and then sadly still doing the landscape style but they look a little bit neater now though they don't look rushed and cheap it looks nice and again their their uh, day's side is still on the back here but we have baron zemo we have ultron metal tyrant tyrant so it's Baron Helmet Zero now, because their names have to be slightly different to the existing versions. Crossbones the Merciless Merc, Red Skull the Master of the World, his third iteration. Doc Ock Sinister Scientist, and he's an alternative leader for Spider Foes, Sinister Six. Captain Marvel, who has two cards. The Invincible Iron Man. The Black Widow. Spectacular Spider-Man, as opposed to Amazing or just Spider-Man. Captain America First Avenger and Winter Soldier Operative version. I love that they finally gave Bucky a decent looking miniature. So I should mention as we look at the next thing, which is all the tokens, that I was able to pick this up as a result of direct support from my channel members and just viewers in general, so thank you very much for that. And if you do want to support the channel and can spare it, please do consider becoming a channel member. It really helps out and is invested in the channel. So these, oh, as I almost killed the camera with them, are the new power icons and damage icons. As I say, they've gone to diamonds slash squares as opposed to circles. I'm not really sure if that's for any other reason other than make them look different. Either way, the old symbols, again, are still usable. That's for the extracts, that's for the secures, presumably. So they're just generic tokens now, depending on the mission being played, rather than being the unique ones you used to have. And these are the new stats effects, I guess. Poison, stagger, presumably. Judgment, that uh, could be dazed. Activated, I'm not sure on the rest, other than fire. And I guess that must be shock up there. So there's those two sheets, and then there's still more within another layer. Let me just lift this off. Ah, there we go. That, as they say, is an abundance of scenery related sprue I, I, as far as i'm aware uh, there's no assembly instructions with this box either like they've started doing for their releases i have seen their excuse for that and i don't buy it at all <laughs> for the record um so they definitely need to keep including assembly instructions in their releases and it's very scummy that they don't but there's an assortment of bases for the miniatures in here you get some barrels you get some cars you get the lamp posts and the oops and the street lights from before but there is even more 
which is, well, the cards I was referencing. So you do, it does feel like you get more sprue than the original release. You're certainly getting more little bits of scenery that are perfect for chucking. Uh, I think it, it comes with the Broken Rocks on station as well. So there's that too. But without assembly instructions, it is kind of hard to show you. But that is the same car that existed before. And that is the end of the box. It is, it's a big box. And to be fair, they filled it to the brim. And so that is everything you get in Earth's Mightiest core set for Marvel Crisis Protocol. I had it turned over to see if it showed like all the scenery you get. It doesn't really. It's just some of it kind of faded away in the background there. They mostly just wanted to show off the models, which let's face it is the more important thing rather than a bunch of cars and destroyed buildings. It actually fit back in altogether pretty, pretty neatly. As you can see, just realized I forgot to put those back in. So, you know, that's something I'm going to have to fix. But beyond that, it all fit back in nicely to sit in your corner pile of grey shame until you decide it's time to paint them on that note we will be getting these painted up obviously and we'll be seeing them on the table as soon as possible not rushing it of course but you know just as and when they're ready not waiting for the full sides to be done but you will be seeing more crisis protocol on the channel so if you are looking for that please do subscribe and you'll see it now and then and thank you for watching. So if you wanted to know what was in it, there you go. I still recommend the other set as well. The models aren't as great as some of the newer sculpts they've been doing, uh, but it's certainly available at a super cheap price from some places. I think I found it as low as £50 or around £55-ish. So you can definitely find that core set um, very, very cheap. And that's a good jumping in point if you're not sure about the game. But if you are sure and you love the look of the miniatures in this as well, you're getting everything you need to play crisis cards characters etc and jumping off points for other affiliations so thank you very much for watching i sincerely hope you enjoyed and see you next time it's time for now